guys! Welcome to Encantos where science and Misty come together. In this video, we are going to talk about the benefits of peppermint for our body, our mind and our soul. We are going to make two teas, an energetic one and one for digestion. We are going to make a herbal bath for healing and we are going to make an incense to enhance our psychic abilities. The recipes for the teas are from Rosemary and Glass Star and the recipe for the herbal bath is from Scott Cunningham. The incense I put together knowing the magical properties of the plants. I'm going to leave the links for the books in the description box below and I'm going to also give you the timestamps if you want to jump around or just go directly to what you want. So, let's talk about peppermint. Peppermint has volatile oils, menthol and mentone. It has flavonoids, phenolic acid, three terpenes, calcium, magnesium and potassium. Peppermint is very good to relieve nausea and gas. It's antispasmodic, which means it helps the muscles to relax and it relieves stomach cramps. It can be used as a disinfectant spray for cleaning your surfaces all around the house. It is also good because it leaves like this amazing smell, this like fresh smell, so it's amazing. Peppermint reduces pain in cases of headache, bee stings, toothache and skin burns. To deal with burns, Rosemary gives us an advice to mix two tablespoons of honey with two drops of peppermint essential oil and to apply directly on the burns. This will alleviate the pain right away and the honey is going to create a sterile dressing for your burn. Actually, I do prefer lavender for burns just because it's a more gentle plant. There are people that are uh, that create skin reactions to peppermint, so if you want to use peppermint in your skin, just try it out first in your hand, a small patch, to see if uh, you are sensitive to it or not. And of course, you can also add peppermint to your salads, your shakes, your soups and of course your pestos. Just to get the best out of that magnesium, potassium and calcium. And by the way, peppermint is actually very easy to grow. It likes rich, moist and well-drained soil, full sun to partial shade, and you are actually going to keep it contained because it spreads easily, like really, really all over the place. From it, we use the leaf and the flower for our preparations and it is perfectly safe to use, just keep in mind that thing about the skin reactions. Now, for our mind and our soul. Peppermint is associated with the gender masculine, with the planet Mercury, the element fire, deity Pluto, and its powers are purification, sleep, love and psychic powers and of course the healing. Peppermint has long been used in healing potions and mixtures. Throughout history it's used a lot in purification spells. Its fresh leaves when rubbed against the head relieves headaches and this is actually going hand in hand with our therapeutic properties. You can dry it and use as a bracelet to protect you against illnesses. Its presence in a room elevates the energy. If you have some in your altar it is going to help with your magic and it's going to call good spirits. When smelled compels you to sleep and under your pillow it can give you a glimpse of the future in your dreams. 
You can use its leaves to clean the energy of objects, so if you want, you can use it actually to clean your magical tools. And of course, wild mints are more potent, so peppermint is of course of the mint group, and if you can collect it in the wild, it is actually going to be more potent. This applies either for magic and also for the therapeutic properties. Just keep in mind that wild mints are going to have a slightly different composition, so its properties are going to be a little bit different. So do your research. Let's now get into our recipes and we are going to start with our energetic tea. For this tea we are going to need green tea, basil and peppermint. So I have here a mug with boiling water. The recipe says 6 tablespoons of herbs for a liter of water. So a mug is more or less a quart of a liter. So you just have to measure it according to your taste. I'm going to add a part of peppermint and for me that is going to be two tablespoons. One part of green tea, also two tablespoons. And one part of basil, again two tablespoons. And we will just put this inside our mug with boiling water. And now we are going to leave it here for 30 to 45 minutes, depending on how you like your tea. If you like it stronger, I recommend you to leave for the 45 minutes. If you like it a little bit more gentle i advise you to just go for the 30 minutes then you just have to take your herbs out and drink okay so be careful with this tea because it has green tea which means it has caffeine so just don't drink it at night or drink it if you want to stay awake <laughs> And this is going to have a really bitter taste, so if you're not used to drinking tea, you're probably going to want to add a little bit of honey and maybe a little bit of milk. So, for our indigestion tea, we are going to need chamomile, dill, and from dill we are going to use leaf and seed, and we are going to use also peppermint. So, I have here a mug with boiling water and we are going to add our herbs to this strainer. The recipe says one part chamomile, so I'm going to add two teaspoons of it. Then we need one part dill. I'm going to use the leaf and the seed, so I'm going to add half a part of each. And this is going to be one teaspoon of each. And now we are going to add a part of peppermint. It's going to be two teaspoons. And now we are going to put it inside our boiling water. If 
if you like your tea stronger you can add more amount of herbs in recipe uh, rosemary actually advises to use six tablespoons of herbs for one liter of water and now we are going to leave it for about 30 to 45 minutes depending on how strong you like your tea i'm predicting that the dill is going to leave our tea a little bit bitter this tea is not as bitter as the other one probably because of the dill the seeds of the dill and you are going to want to drink half a cup before the meal and half a cup after the meal for the tea to do its job. For our healing bath, we are going to use rosemary, lavender, rose, peppermint, cinnamon and if you want, if you are with symptoms of a cold, for example, you can use also a little bit of eucalyptus. I'm going to put my herbs inside this sachet and I'm going to use a tablespoon to do my measures. I'm going to add three parts of rosemary, so three tablespoons. Two parts lavender One part peppermint I'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon and two parts of rose petals. And this is our herbal bath, our healing herbal bath. Just beautiful. How are you going to use it? You are going to want to strap your sachet onto your faucet. You are going to open your water in the hottest temperature possible and the water has to run through your herbs. When you have like a third of your bathtub full with this very hot water, you are going to adjust the temperature to your liking. So you are going to fill the rest of the bathtub with water according to your preferences. And you are going to want to keep yourself in this bath for about 30 to 45 minutes. This is a very calming bath, so do this like before going to bed, which is amazing. For our incense, we are going to need peppermint, cinnamon, anise, bay, thyme and a burner or a charcoal if you prefer. I'm going to put my incense together in my burner and this is going to be a loose incense so we're just going to put our herbs together I'm going to start with bay 
I'm going to add three bay leaves. I'm going to add a little bit of anise. This I have only in powder, so I'm going to add one teaspoon. Then I'm going to add thyme. Peppermint, cinnamon, just a little bit because it has a, rel a very strong smell. And of course, rose petals. I love to put these mixtures together because they always have an amazing smell. Even before we actually burn them. Look at that, just gorgeous. So this is a loose incense. I actually like to burn this in the oil burners instead of using charcoal because I don't like the smell that the charcoal gives to the herbs and in the oil burner the herbs burn slower so it gives like a smell for of course longer time but it also gives like this more smooth smell it's more like soft smell it's not it's not that strong and i really do enjoy it like this also because probably I like to meditate with it, so it gives me more time to meditate. If you want, you can use uh, this incense in spells with the same goal in mind, so to enhance your psychic abilities. And of course, you can grind the herbs and use it to dress your candles in conjunction with an oil, for example. So guys, just try these recipes and tell me if you like it or not. I really enjoyed the bath, gotta say this. Um, and tell me if you use peppermint in your crafts and what for. And I see you in the next video. Bye!